Hey y'all! Alright, so today I feel a bit motivated. I got my lipstick on, which always means that I'm awake and aware and ready for life. I finally was awake long enough this week to watch a movie all the way through, and that movie was Life Partners. I'd heard about it, that Lady Meester was gonna play a lesbian, and I was like, cool! Cause she's adorable. And who else is in it? I'm sorry. I love her cause she's in Community, but I never remember her name. Her name is Jillian Jacobs, and she's adorable too. Right, so the story is about Jillian and Leighton Meester playing two characters. I'm sorry, I don't remember their names already. Sasha and Paige. So Sasha is the character that Leighton Meester plays, and she's a lesbian, and Paige is Jillian, and she is the straight girl. In most movies where you have two girls and one is straight and one is gay, you usually are rooting for them to be together, that the straight girl will like figure herself out. It's always a coming out story. But this one actually wasn't and it was so cool and it just kind of looked at the dynamic of female friendships because female friendships are like that. Whether you're gay or you're straight, like female friendships are so cuddly and cool and vulnerable and honest and they talk about everything and it was just so cool to watch that in a movie. It was pretty cool and there was a lot of lesbian jokes in there like the the rule about how everybody has already dated everybody in the community because there's only so many lesbians in your city so everyone knows everyone and you basically just have this big giant lesbian family tree where everyone is dated the other one or had sex with the other one or made out with the other one or made contact with the other one. I was The second I saw that I was like, you have a lesbian on your writer's staff, right? <laughs> I think the characters are pretty relatable. I think that Paige, the straight character, is looking for stability. Both of them are. Um, and they're looking for, you know, they're all, tr almost turning 30 and so they're getting, you know, that like almost 30 life crisis where they don't really know what they want with their lives. Well, at least Lane's character is. And because she's just like a receptionist and doesn't know if she wants to do music anymore and she's in a very confusing time. While Paige seems to have it all together and now she's getting a boyfriend and in their friendship the boyfriend you know takes priority over the best friend. I don't know why that happens but it happens. And when that was happening of course this is heartbreaking for Sasha. <coughs> because she's being replaced and left behind and she's already confused about stuff and now she's alone in the, confusion, in the confusion because she can't even talk to her best friend about it. If you're familiar with Toy Story, Toy Story kind of touches upon those feelings but for kids. That is a, that is a very common feeling, that is something that we all go through. We all get replaced at one point or another. We get replaced in our jobs, we get replaced with our friends. A pattern that's very common is like you'll have a best friend for a certain period of your life and then a new best friend for another period of your life or your best friend is replaced by your relationship which takes a big commitment and a big priority in your life. The person that gets replaced, it's heartbreaking because it it is kind of like getting dumped. You have had no say in the matter. This person just, you know, got a new best friend or or got married or had kids and then you're left behind. Oh, don't get emotional, it's the medicine. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very real thing to to understand and be emotional about is, is how people get replaced all the time. So now, in case you didn't catch that the first time, because it took me a while to catch it, now you know why you get really upset about Toy Story <laughs> and about how Woody feels about being replaced by Buzz in that first film. Layden's character reminded me of me only a few times. I definitely have a ritual to like go to the drive-thru and eat in the car by myself because I don't want to eat inside. <laughs> and when I saw that I was like, ugh, we're the same. She's sitting in the parking lot eating her food and then a car moves away and the car on the other side is this other girl also eating in her car. And they smile at each other and the girl says, come sit down in my car. And it's this potentially very intimate, very cute scene where like, you know, they're both eating in the car together, and now they're talking with each other. I was like, that's probably how I'm going to meet the love of my life. <laughs> I'm going to be sitting in the, in the, most, the, the most impossible scenario, sitting in my car, eating outside of, of a drive-thru, and some cute girl is going to be on the other side, 
eating her food by herself too and she's gonna be like come hither <laughs> and we'll eat in the car together and have intimate conversations and then this is basically how it will go the ending of the film is not like this weird temporary happy ending they bump into each other and they carry on from where they left off and they're still best friends and the end some of us were best friends and we may be you know far away from each other for whatever reason because we're busy or because we're in different places but you find each other and then you just pick up where you left off <sighs> out of five stars i give life partners four and a half what could make it better? Um, happy ending for the lesbian. <laughs> cool. Thank you guys for watching. Um, keep watching. I'm going to make more videos very soon. Uh, there's a subscribe button somewhere around here somewhere. So do subscribe. And I will see you guys eventually. Bye.